It's 2 a.m. with Nathan. He replied, Blessed rather are those who hear the word of God and obey it. Oh, sorry, I didn't hear you. Did you know there's a danger in having hearing loss? More than just not being able to hear well. Whenever we start to hear less, it affects other parts of our bodies. They say those who ex are experiencing hearing loss actually uh, experience depression and anxiety more often. There was a study done by John Hopkins that showed the way, the way that our brain works whenever we're experiencing hearing loss has a direct link to dementia. They say if you have a, a mild hearing loss, you have two times the likelihood to de develop dementia. If you have a moderate, three times. If you have a severe, it's up to five times. They, they say that as your brain spending so much effort trying to interpret the sounds that you hear, right, um, that, that other areas suffer like memory and cognition. Thankfully, they say that 95% of the people that have hearing loss can get a hearing aid and it can greatly help them. It can take care of many of the problems and consequences. The problem many times, though, is that our pride gets in there and we say, I don't need a hearing aid. I hear just fine. I'm not getting older. I don't need that. And our whole body suffers as a result. Now, if, if this is the consequence for physically not being able to hear. What do you think the consequences are whenever we stop being able to hear spiritually? When we stop hearing the Holy Spirit whisper to us. When we stop hearing clearly God speaking to us in His Word. We, like with pride, we can say, I don't need that, or I can hear as good as I ever can. But what if we're starting to go a little deaf, and we don't realize it. What kind of consequences are there? I'll tell you this much, there are much greater consequences than just physical hearing. Maybe it's time we get a hearing test. Maybe it's time we start investing in ways to be able to hear rightly, especially God. To spend time in devotions. Jesus said, blessed are those who hear the word of God and obey it. That means digging in deep, often, trusting what God's word says. The fellowship of believers are meant to spur us on, to, to spend time with others that hear well and make sure I'm hearing well still, to know that God wants to speak to me. And if I'm not hearing him, something's off with that. So as you go throughout the day today, listen carefully and go to God and say, hey, can you correct my hearing so I can hear you even better? Have a great day. Mm -hmm.